Hello everyone and welcome back to the two-player Nostalgue uh, challenge in Pokemon Sword and Shield played between me, Maddie Renee, and um, Vox the Rainy Place, which, uh, well, I mean, if you're here at this episode, like 10 I think, you already know what's going on. So we're just gonna talk to Hop over here to get uh, access to the rest of this town. Maddie, I'm still not too sure what I should do about all that stuff I told you before. About me being weak and dragging down Lee's good name at all, yeah? But the only thing I can do is get stronger, right? So I'm gonna try out all kinds of different things against you and see what works. Oh, there's a battle here. Uh, we have Sork up front. He's probably gonna lead with Wulu. Then let's do this. I bet an all-out battle with my true rival will help me get my head straight. Yes, because losing to me again will definitely help you feel better about losing. Hop, what is this lack of logic? Premeron. That, that's not Wulu. All I'm after is victory and I'm counting on you to help uh, me grab it. Well, you are part water, so I'm gonna switch over here. I know you're also part flying, which makes it a bit scary, but I think we're gonna be fine. Kinda trust Hop to not be very comp uh, competent. Yeah, you know, dive is not exactly the worst attack to be attacked by. Um, we're gonna try sleep bomb and see how good it is. Yeah, exactly. That's why I'm not afraid of dive. All right, Cremoran grabs fish when it. Uh, and it's used the fish. Yeah, but it does. Of course, it does. It should not do. I like to do a decent amount of damage, and it slows me. No, it lowers my defense. Hmm. Oh, come on. Oh, I forgot you have super potions. Okay, that's fine. We'll just hit you again. Sea bomb. Yeah, not a problem. Uh, pluck. Oh, oh. How's that? Super effective damage. I'm always looking for an opening. Yeah, and I'm gonna take out your cram run for that. You bastard. That hurt, man, and for a moment there I thought Morgana was done for. I'm so glad Morgana is not a tank. Whew! Silly Cobra, also weak to grass because it's a ground type? But. But. I am gonna heal Morgana before we lose them because I am not gonna lose Morgana. There we go. Glare. Are oh, you dare, Glare? Right, I forgot that's what Glare does. Well, I mean, once we hit, it should be basically be like a one-hit KO. It's faster than me because of paralysis, right? Hmm, does Dick do that much damage? No, it does not, <laughs> because it's not very effective. And I'm paralyzed. Oh god, damn it! That means we're gonna waste another turn, isn't it? Because so now you're gonna do it again. No, you're gonna brutal swing me. That's super effective. And a critical hit. Wow, that was pathetic damage for those two. Like, a super effective critical and it barely put a dent in. Morgana, you're an effing tank. Who would name for a super effective hit if they had the chance, right? Exactly. Okay, so next up is... Who's next up? Raboot. That... Oh... It's fire. Is it part fighting? Because it... I want it to be part fighting. Because it looks sporty. But I believe it's just pure fire, isn't it? Which means that it wasn't that great an idea to send out uh, Yusuke for this, but... I mean, why not? Psybeam. That's a decent amount of damage. Round, huh? What does that do? Ah, oh, it just pokes me. Ooh, that tickles! <laughs> I don't think this fight is gonna be a problem. I'm also realizing this, this is the start with Cramorant. Silly... Silly Snake. Raboot. He has one more. So, why would he wait with Wulu to last? He always has Wulu up front. Huh. 
I'm, I'm trying to figure out what was going on here. Like, I would have... I honestly expect... He always leads with Wulu. Where's Wulu? Out! Even I heard when you managed to land a critical hit like that. One. <laughs> okay, good levels all across the board. Um, what's left here? Tox Toxel. Really? So no Wulu. I don't know what I can do to try and win now, but all I can do is try. There's no, uh, nothing else to for it. Well, I mean, that's a toxic Pokemon, so we should be able to take it out in one hit. Yeah, there we go. Okay, uh, no Wulu. Huh. Not what I expected. Slightly confused by that? My strategy goes right to pot when I have got all these bad thoughts running through my head. Well, hop. One, <laughs> one thing's for sure. You shouldn't be doing Pokemon battles on pot. Hmm, I tried switching my team members in and out to max out their potential in every matchup, but we just couldn't get it together somehow. Maybe that's... Ooh, sorry about that. Ooh, maybe that's why I'm still so weak. But Lee really is the greatest trainer, and I don't want people to be laughing at him all because his little bro is so rubbish. It's not enough. I've got to try harder, and harder and harder, so no one's laughing. I'm off, mate. Off to find the kind of Pokemon that I can really draw the strength out of. Okay, bye up. I'm assuming you already did the gym's pa- Ooh, You really need to stop doing that, Oval. That child. Gym challengers should battle for the sake of their own Pokemon. Why worry about saving the champion's name? We all know he's unbeatable. Anyway, here's something for letting me watch your battle. I didn't let you watch my battle. Now, on you go, child. You're headed to the Stone Side Gym next now. The gym challenge is about having fun. Oh, I'm so glad we don't have to watch it go up the stairs because that would take a long time at that speed. Poof. Okay, so now that we're done with the unexpected battle, I didn't think that would be the first time we did this episode, but sure. Um, what we're going to be doing now, and I think I alluded to this, except this in the last episode, is that we're going to go and um, heal. Yeah, we didn't get healed from that battle. We're going to go do some grinding. Uh, I'm honestly not sure where we'll do it. But we'll have a look-see outside of... Uh, I guess we'll take Hammerlock Hill and then just go from there. Because we need something that's good level. And usually there's a stage 2 evolution out there somewhere. Which would give give better... Well, there is an item back here. A Dusk Stone, nice. Uh, which would give better XP than a stage 1 evolution. So... Why am I running this way? I should be... I should be using my flying taxi service. Not there. There. Hamelock Hills. Um, if we can find... A, I'm thinking a fighting type should be ideal, because then we can just have uh, Yusuke up front and deal with everything. Uh, we're not gonna fight you. Honkaboo. Stoffel. Oh, Machoke. Oh, that's perfect. Machoke is not just... Uh, not just... Um, we're actually close to being good level with these three. Not... It's not just a uh, fighting type, it's also a stage 2 evolution, so it should give like... I'd say probably in the four, 4 digits? Barely in the 4 digits of XP, I think, I hope. Like it's level 30, which is a bit lower than us, like one level lower. Okay, we don't do as much damage as I thought we would actually. Huh. I was kind of expecting us to do more of a one-hit KO thing. But I guess not. I need to move my moves around so that side beam is front. Kind of balls me. We'll do that after this battle real quick. Let's see what we get in XP. 1234. <laughs> that's that's way better than I thought. It's interesting that Sonic and Morgana gets different amounts of XP. Is it because of... Does each Pokemon have like a, an XP curve of some sort? Because in that case, I know why. That would be because Sonic is... 
Wait, is Punkapoo is also a Generation 5 Pokemon, isn't it? Yeah. Um, wait, what is Fake Out? This attack hits first and makes the target flinch. It only works the f it only works the first turn. Maybe I should get rid of. No, that can still be really good against Vox if they don't if she doesn't see it coming. Um, I have to remember to remove the item from from this. Uh, we're just gonna continue grinding. I'm thinking we get. Get everyone to level 35? 35. I think. The main issue here is that I guess I should be doing switch training to be honest. Um, ooh, that dealt more damage than I. That's super effective. It has a move that's super effective against me. What? What is. What typing is knockoff? I'm confused. I didn't think it would actually have a super effective move against me. But thankfully we somehow didn't really take that much damage. I mean, we, take, we took a decent amount, but not enough that I would worry about it ever killing us. Thirty-four, thirty-two. 32. I need to... Be a bit careful because I kind of want to be able to grind up some other Pokemon's levels, which would require me to have, well, uh, your skull up front, preferably. Otherwise, I'll need to find a different spa a spot to do some leveling. Um. Oh, here we go. Super effective one hit. Oh, critical. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. That makes sense. You know, more of that, please. More of that. So hopefully, hopefully today we'll make it to a point where I will be taking on the Stow on Sight gym. I'll just take this berry tool tree real quick, since it's here and it's bothering me that I'm just ignoring it. Again. Okay, there's three berries. Two Lapa berries, or was it the Alpa berries? I don't know. A citrus berry. There's a Nova Matyoke, we'll take him out. I am staying far away from Wobbuffet because Destiny Bond scares me. <laughs> to be fair, it could be an interesting trap to use against uh, Vox. But I... I don't know. Good damage, good damage. Oh, it, right, it can confuse. I forgot about that. Could you just knock yourself out? No, okay. Low sweep is just a fighting move, doesn't really matter. And we'll just side him. Okay, we got our speed lower, but we're still fast. I guess Yosuke is a speedy little one, isn't he? I don't mind that, because one thing that would be nice to have as an upper hand against Fox is definitely the speed. That's the only reason I won the first battle. <laughs> In a landslide. But yeah. Hmm. Did I completely annihilate all the Machokes of this? Yeah. I am a choke. You haven't gone, like, this extinct, have you? Just gonna grab this. Machoke. There you are. Hello, mate. Ah. We're only 15 minutes in. We have plenty of time. Um. I don't think this is gonna be just, I mean, this episode is not gonna be just grinding, but I don't think it's gonna be like half an hour extra grinding from here. It doesn't seem a nice critical hit again. It doesn't seem like we're that slow at, at, at gaining XP. Mm. Although it is getting to a point where it's a slightly more steep curve. I, I really do wonder if I should be switch training these guys instead. Also, I'm coming to a realization that maybe... Hmm. We're doing a lot of criticals and it worries me. Mainly because last time that happened we lost Edsworth. <laughs> okay, Morgana is now also level 34. Which is good. I'm actually wondering if I shouldn't just leave him on 
that and instead I believe Wobble Fit is yeah. Instead get Wobble Fit in here. To gain some XP with him. I come to think of it, I do want some XP with Golet. I am confident enough that Yosuke can deal with it this without dying. At this point. Just gonna double check the X the, the um, HP. So as long as I don't run into something unwanted. But I can I can use a Poké Doll if I do, so it's not a problem. Uh, because we do want a backup uh, for the GM, and another Psychic user is definitely the best backup we can have. And uh, let's be honest, Slowpoke is falling so far behind that it doesn't really. It's it's not really what I want. Plus, Slowpoke is slow. So let's not do that. <clears throat> And Golit, I just... I'm partial to picking ghost Pokémon, I know. So I kind of just want to level it up. Oh, Yosuke... Light screen. Okay, you know what? We're getting light screen. Uh, instead of... Roleplay. Light screen lowers the... Uh, puts up a shield that absorbs some... Psych, um, special attack, so that's worth it, because the other one is more circumstantial. Reflect is the same, but for physical attacks. Oh, damn it! <sighs> I can't have both. I really wish they used the Cyber Sleuth system, where you can have like six or eight attacks on a, on a Mon. It's so useful. Uh, well, we're limited to... F I mean, actually, I believe they did say in an interview that they were experimenting with more, with fewer and more attacks per Pokémon. And just decided to revert back to... Uh, that's a really big pump kaboom. Um, to what we already know and love. I'm assuming it's so that they didn't break the meta or anything, but... It would have been nice if we could have done that at least with story mode. Okay, at this point, I think we might have just completely... Oh, there we go. Massacred all the... Um... No! Stufel! What are you doing? I don't want to fight you! I don't want to fight you. <laughs> I was thinking maybe, but... Uh, hmm, I, I'm a bit afraid of Stoffel. Not because of experience, but because, because Vox says that it's scary. And if Vox thinks it's scary, then I feel like I should fear it too. So... So yeah, I'm just gonna stay away from Stoffel and Wobbuffet. Well, I guess Pumpkin Boo as well. Although I guess we could... If Golip becomes high enough level, I could probably take out Pumpkin Boo with Golip. Oh, actually that might be a really bad idea, because Pumpkin Boo is both Grass and Ghost, and Golip is weak to both. So, scratch that thought. Yosuke is slowly becoming a level where I do not want to level him more. Actually, in fact, because he's also going to gain levels in the gym, I kind of want to replace him now. Oh, that's a bummer. Um, we're going to replace him with Sonic and continue fighting a few more Machokes. It's not going to be as effect efficient, because it's not super effective, but Sonic... Sorry, Sonic still deals a decent amount of damage. And I think it does that even when it's not that effective. In which case, I think it's fine. It doesn't matter how many times I need to kick this with a low kick to get it down. Low sweep, sorry. Why have I not, why have I not sorted these attacks out either? Okay, two. You know what? That's basically the same speed it takes to, uh, to destroy it with... Um, Knockout is not very effective. What typing is Knockout? Knockout was super effective against... Um, my Psychic type. It's Knockout Dark type. It might be. Hmm. But yeah, um, it seems like two hits takes out Machoke with Sonic as well, so we're just gonna continue doing that, because it's the same speed as the other time. I know Switch training would probably well, would be more efficient, I guess. Actually, if it takes two hits to destroy- oops, wrong one. 
I need to assault these attacks out to get them in the right attack order. But if it takes two hits to get... Does it double the amount of XP if you do switch training or does it give more than double? Because it's either going to be a 33% increase in attack X, uh, XP, but also in attack rounds that we need to go through. Hmm. It could be worth it. I mean, given how little damage Sonic takes, I think it would be worth to do Swiss training here. Because Matioka is not going to take him out. It would take like an incredibly insane uh, critical hit to do that. At least I'm expecting so. So we're gonna... Well, first and foremost, I'm gonna fix the attacks order of... Oh, of Sonic real quick, because it bothers me. Uh, the uh, attack and defense stats raised. Protect self from allies priority moves. Oh, so it's an anti-priority anti move move. Oh, that's really handy, actually. Because let's say that um, Vox tries to use Fake Out on me again. Well, actually, it doesn't even matter in that case because we have our our freaking um, yeah ability makes it so that Flitz doesn't work on me. So I guess it just yeah. Okay, I forgot about the Swiss training as training aspect. Whoops. We'll do that next time. No worries. We got all day. You have strength as well. Huh. I'm sitting here thinking there are a lot of Pokemon that I want to just level up. But I'm not gonna grind right now. Speaking of leveling up, good. Brick break, break. The user attacks with a swift chop it can also break barriers such as light screen and reflect. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. I mean, double kick is... I, double kick is not great, in my opinion. It's That's an instant replacement. Because Brick Break could also help against some of the... Oh, I'm in defense? Uh, gonna replace Nightshade because that's the attack that adjusts depending on the enemy's level. Or is my level? I don't remember. It's I remember that according to Vox it's not that great for our Nostalk right now, so it's fine. But yeah, um... Oh, it had an aura. Okay, that's why we got that. Uh, what was I about to say? Yeah, Brick Break should be perfect for dealing with um, some of all the gimmicky stuff that Vox likes to run. So that's good. Okay, we're gonna try some Swiss training, see if it helps with the XP amount that we get. But we do need to find an Armachoke. There we are. They're in high demand and in low, re low um, stock at the moment, apparently. I wonder if there's anything to do with me completely destroying them all. So, the thing is, I would just use uh, Lolithia against um, Machoke. Because its fighting attacks should be nullified by my ghost typing. But the fact that it has a freaking... Potentially has a freaking dark type move scares me a bit because I think it would just be like two hits or one critical from that and I would be out. And I kind of don't want to lose the Thief Lulithia. Especially when I can just switch train instead. It's not like it takes that much longer anyway. I just throw. Oh no. And a bit of healing from the left. Oh, worse. I wish it didn't have to wait for the animation to be over before it did the text box. Actually, in general. I really wish that a lot of the design choices for how the game runs user interface. And I guess it did a bit. Um, a lot of the interface decisions, I can see why they were applicable or needed to be applied back in Generation 1 and 2 and maybe even 3 because of hardware limitations. But these days there's literally no reason not to run multiple things simultaneously. Like. Don't show the animation, then show the text. Do it at the same time so that we can save time. Like, small things like that. It, ooh, no, 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 no. It, 
I don't think that's too much to ask, to be honest. Like here, for instance, I have to click the text box away before it actually switches to Pokemon. Which it seems a bit counterintuitive, to be honest. And again, it had to wait a second for the text to be there before it actually attacks. It's just small things like that. I think if you, if Game Freak took the time to optimize that, not only would you have a much more snappy interface, the battles might actually also feel more dynamic. Uh, well, not dynamic, it might not be the right word. word. They might f feel less uh, uh, sluggish, because right now it's a lot of, hey, something happens that's fancy to look at, the text box appears to explain what happened. You could, you could do it all simultaneously, you know. Just my, my thoughts on it. It's not gonna make a freaking difference anyway, because Game Freak does what Game Freak does, and Game Freak doesn't always do good, as the game crashes. Uh, kind of proved the other day. Well, it was yesterday for me in real life, but still. And just... Yeah, I love the, this... I really like playing this game. But... It's one of those games where... I have a few of these games, actually. Where it's like, it's good, but it doesn't deserve this much of my time. It's not that good, but I do it anyway. And I don't... Uh oh Okay, just use strength. Okay. Um, I do that with a, not a lot of games, but I do that with some games where it's like, yeah, I don't think I don't think it's specifically because it's Pokemon, because um, like another guilty pleasure game, I guess we would call it that I have is White Day, a labyrinth called School. Which by the time this episode goes up, I will probably have live streamed that. Otherwise, look forward to that. Um, It'll probably be a small icon in the corner of the screen if I remember to put it in. But... Yeah, I don't know. It's the best worst game I've ever liked, I guess. No, it's not. It's the best bad game. It's not a bad game, it's just... It's like... I think the main issue is that Game Freak feels like they stopped innovating on the core system of the game. They do a lot of fancy things around the core system, but they kind of forgot that it's okay to try and, you know, experiment a bit with things like I said, speeding up the battles a bit, uh, stuff like that. It, it's not, it's it's not a religious sin to try and mix it up and change the way the interface works. It's also not like another uh, pet peeve, I guess it is, I have with this game, which also comes down to it being a bit sluggish. It's the whole thing with, okay, so I talked to an NPC, now they're gonna run off screen. I can't move on until they run off screen. It's like, yeah, I understand why you want the artistic freedom to do things like having a, an NPC despawn so that I don't see where they go because it's easier. But honestly, in an age where everyone else doesn't do that, but just makes sure that the NPC goes to a spot where they can go through a door or something that you can't enter and then despawn them like that, I just feel like Game Freak is a bit stuck in olden times where they haven't really followed through with... Like, I know this is the current year um, fallacy I'm gonna pull out, but we're in 2020 and a lot has changed in regards to game design since since the mid-90s where, where the first generation was conceived. And it doesn't... I mean... They've tweaked the formula ever so slightly with each gener generation, but it just feels sometimes like the gaming industry and the genre. I'm just gonna back in. Gonna go back and heal, by the way. Is moving three steps at a time, while Game Freak just takes one, uh, two steps forward and a single step backwards. Like. Look at the Wycom, for instance. I, I know I like to complain about stuff, but let's do this in a bit of a more constructive way. Looking at the Wycom, it kind of baffles my mind that they did it the way they did when they had the Festival Plaza in the previous game. I, I didn't... and even that I did not like because it baffled my mind they did that when they had the communication device on, in X and Y in the generation before that. The X and Y system was ideal in my opinion. Because it was kind of like the Wycom, always online, but it used a system behind it that was much more robust and felt more modern than the Wycom. One of the main issues and main gripes I have with the Wycom is that it allows you to update it like every five minutes. 
And other than that, you just have to hope that it actually picks up on something going on. Sonic should not be leveling further. I did not realize that. You're a, you're a psychic type, you should be fine, right, James? Um, but yeah, the fact that the Wycom just doesn't always feel like it works, basically. Like, we have situations where I will sit and wait for minutes without getting a single communication update on the Wycom. Or I will try to interface with... Uh, I don't have a psychic move on this thing. <sighs> okay. Um, I will try to interface with a friend, Vox, most of the time, and we will just have to restart our, our traits until it finds us. And the traits, just the general... In general, there are so many small things about the way that the Wycom works. Things like inputting the password, uh, the timing of that doesn't always make sense, the interfaces between battling and trading having being so vastly different doesn't make sense. Um, the fact that I can't create a lobby, invite friends, and then open it to public afterwards doesn't make sense. Like, it's all these small things where other games have been doing this for at least 10, maybe even 15 years, and you'd expect that Game Freak would, you know, look and learn. But it sometimes feels like, and it's, I'm not saying this to come off as a hater in any way, but... Sonic just hit max level. Okay, so I'm allowed to use him, but I'm, he's not allowed to level up more. I'm not trying to come off as a hater towards Game Freak on Nintendo, it's just that you notice patterns in how companies do things after a while. And... Uh, one moment, I'm trying to think. The next team we're gonna go up against needs to yeah, I need to level up a poison type for the next team after this. Um, it just, when you've been playing games from Nintendo and Game Freak for so many years, like 20 years at this point, right? Um, it just makes you start wonder... It, it makes you start noticing patterns that are not always consumer-oriented. And I swear, sometimes it just feels like both Nintendo and Game Freak look at what everyone else is doing and say, nah, we'll, we'd rather try and invent something ourselves. Also, I'm noticing that I don't have a TM or TR for any psychic moves. I hope this guy might be selling, because I kind of want Wobbuffet to have a psychic move. Hmm. We didn't have a psychic move, right? I'm just gonna check again because I didn't actually realize there is a typing icon. No, we don't. Um, there is one whole thing we can do to try and look for one. We'll head out and talk to the guy in the wild in different places. We still have a decent amount of time to burn for this episode, so it's not a problem. Plus, we might be we might be lucky and find this guy again. Um, straight up psychic. We do not have enough ward for that. Oh, that's to be at like almost 15 different... It's 50 each. That's like, we need a hundred dents for that. Is that the only TR that... Uh, that is sold by these guys? I honestly do not remember. Hmm. Hmm, I'm gonna check this guy real quick. Sorry about the small weight there. I had to get something to drink. <clears throat> Otherwise my throat would probably give up on me. Yeah, these are surprisingly expensive, so I guess we're not doing that. We're gonna pay a few visits to some time town stand because I know there is there is a TM seller somewhere and money is not something we're so on. So we should be able to buy that at the very least. I don't know if any TM sellers sell any I don't know if any TM sellers sell any psychic TMs. That is a bit of a tongue twister. Um, nothing here. Okay, wrong town. Actually, it might be Hammerlock now that I think about it, that I'm thinking of. It's Hammerlock and the final town? And the final town has some really good stuff. 
Like, I think it has Hydroblast, Flamethrower. I'm just gonna heal real quick. Uh, the only reason I'm doing this is because I want Wobbuffet to back to be able to attack. Because otherwise it's gonna be freaking useless when it comes to even doing the gym. Uh, nothing here either. Unless, no, that's battle points. Ah. Uh. Hmm. There is a chance that it, that they sell something in Stone Side. I'm. Oh. Herber derber derber derb. Why did I not think of that? It says on the freaking map what kind of merchant sign in each place. Uh, historic site. BP store. There's a move tutor. Oh yeah, there's the move tutor. I don't know what he gives though. Uh, nothing here. Nothing here. Nothing here. So I guess we just don't have a town that has TMs yet. So we are pretty much just out of luck when it comes to that. The next thing I want to do then is check Wobbuffet um, for what when it moves learns moves then. So, a bit of bad news, um, it doesn't learn anything, ever. It has basically what we have on it right now when it evolves. And anything else, we have to go to the move um, dude in here to try and see if we can remember it. But from what I can see, it doesn't have any actual psychic attacks, which, wow, it, it, <sighs> What if it just turned from being an interesting thing to being completely and utterly useless to me? At least in the regard of this GM, because it has Splash, Charm, Encore, and Amnesia. It has no damaging moves. It has Counter, which only works if it's countering something, right? And even then it's, it's a freaking fighting type move, so it doesn't matter. So... I'm gonna take James. We're gonna remove him from here because he's not really worth my time right now. And instead we're gonna uh, think for a moment, what do I want to level up? Uh, I should probably keep Khan. Um, no, actually, I want Spyro to start gaining some levels again. He's not priority for this episode, but he's good to uh, at least, like, if we have to, I have to double up with something, you know. Wait, who did I have once again? Dealing with Michelin, okay. Uh, poison type versus... Oh, I'm coming to a realization here. Mm. Uh, what do I fight with these guys then? Because I want to... <sighs> Grass Fairy. Can I find anything that's grass out here? Oh, actually? Um, oh, that's probably changed. Hmm, that's too bad. I was thinking over here we had um, Gloom the other day when I was streaming. If we still had that, that would be perfect, because that's grass. I actually can't think of it. Punky Boom is, gra is grass. It's grass... Um, Ghost, but I don't think they are super effective towards me at all. Ogavu is not evolved though, so it's gonna be less XP. Which is a bit of a bummer. Huh, I actually thought Venice Yacht would be super effective, but I have knockoff, so. Bullet C it shouldn't be a problem. Not a problem at all. The only thing is, it can attack up to five times, so it's really just cracking out my time right now. Oh, is it only three? Or did I just get lucky and it didn't? Uh... User slaps down the target's held item, and that item can't be used in the battle. The move does more damage to the target's. Oh! Oh, that's that's just as good as covered then. 
Now I have two Pokemon that I could potentially get rid of Vox's... Um, what is it called? Leftovers with. And I know it's weird to be so, to, to be so focused on the Leftovers, but it's the only item I know that she's going to be running. I mean, that's a dead given. Why wouldn't you when you have it? Uh, but in general, if I can knock some more, oh, that is not good XP at all. We need to find a better place to level up. Oh. Uh, Haulucha. Haulucha, you're fighting type. Do I dare do that, though? I'm not sure I dare do that. Let's show you good XP. Ah. Do we have anything that's good against Machoke with this? We have bark, poison, dark. None of those are very good against fighting. Spyro is too low level to even tempt with. Bark, grass, ground, let's see. Uh, fighting, that's flying, psychic, and fairy. Fairy, flying, psychic, fairy. Hmm. I guess I'll have to find a different place to grind. There's a ground type. Let's think for a moment. Uh, ground. The ground of the rock. Uh, doesn't really matter because regardless of which they are, none of these are good against them. That's not a good order. XP Tsatu. Flying Psychic. Fla wait, wait. Flying Psychic. Psychic is weak to Ghost. And Flying is weak to Ground, right? So, so Natsu then, right? Would be a good pick to go up against now. It's a very strong looking Tsatu. That part scares me a bit. How, how strong are we to- Ooh. Okay, our runaway lock is fine. That is too bad. Don't tell me that all of them are gonna be that level. Okay, we'll backtrack a bit further then. Oh, well, that could have been so good XP. <laughs> We're at a point where it's like, I really want to level something up. Oh, wait a second. Why are we not leveling you up? You need to level up as well, mate. And I know just the place with ground types to do that. Wait, what's it again? Here, I'll take you out. Um... Should be fine. How high level can it be, right? It's quite a level difference, but I'm expecting Asahina to be able to take it.
Why is critical hits a thing in this game? Can anyone please explain to me how that is a good thing? Okay, we just lost our starter. Well, that sucks. Well, the psychic type, we have this one. I'm gonna put them out of order right now. These are high level Pokemon that I dare use right now. Technically, Osimoto. Wait, those are freaking psychic attacks. I already have something. I'm just set for the next gym, actually. Uh, why did I? Mm, I'm so annoyed right now. You know how I said that whoever decided to include um, ball guy in the game should get hired and the promotion? Uh, promotion. Well, whoever decided that critical hits should be a thing in this game can go screw themselves, because that's freaking... ugh. I swear. Fighting. Good against normal, ice, rock, dark, and steel. We'll bring you... I'm so annoyed right now. Okay, at least he's, he's fainted. I wonder if he stays fainted if I go heal him in the... Actually, here's a chance to test if, if healing at the Pokémon Center heals everything in the boxes as well. I'm not sure what to say about the loss of Drizzle, because it bothers me. Mainly because I'm so tired of critical hits. I swear, critical hits have never been this dominant in a playthrough of Pokémon for me. Ever. Not even my single player. It's just... This Nuzlocke is freaking cursed. But hey, I'm running a color theme. <sighs> Sahina didn't deserve to go down like that. Yes, there was a huge level difference, but no, I'm fairly certain he could have survived that if... if it wasn't a critical. It does heal him. Okay, in that case, I was thinking of taking Edsworth out and fainting him so that it would fit, but no. That's good to know, though. It heals everything in the box, so I don't need to actually put them over in my sidebar and come back and pick them up again. Oh, I'm, I'm annoyed, though. I'm really effing annoyed right now. <sighs> and I can already see the comment coming from Vox. You should not have underestimated it. It was six levels higher than you. Was it seven? And yeah, you are completely valid in that. And it was dumb of me to do it, but... It still doesn't make it any less... Really annoying that... A crit got me off all things. Uh, hi, ball guy. Hey there! Thanks for rolling by to have a chat with your mate, the ball guy. That bag on your back is looking pretty heavy. Speaking of heavy, let me give you this very special pocket ball. Yay, we got a heavy ball. Heavy balls rock and roll at catching heavy Pokemon. Pretty straightforward, right? If you're a fan of big heavy Pokemon, then this is the Pokeball ball for you. Pokeballs are just full of surprises, don't you think? Uh, I'm... I should wrap up the gym, but oh, I am so done for today after that. I am so pissed right now. Quasi doesn't have an item. Well, Quasi can have an item. What do you want, Quasi? Can't believe we lost our effing starter. We can get a freaking... Here, have it. You know what? Actually, it sucks we lost um, we lost Asahina, but at the same time, 
The starter is always like a super powerful Pokemon. I'll consider this an extra layer of challenge. Mm. It does though also mean that now I have an extra layer of challenge against Vox that Vox doesn't have to deal with. <laughs> well, safe to save. We're going in. Yes, I am. Going up against Bay. B. B or Bay? It's B E A, so it's B A. I don't know. I honestly, I think they they pronounced it in the anime, like the um, Twilight Wing episode. I cannot remember it though. We're just gonna call it B. Because it sounds better than Bay. So welcome to the uh, the fighting team. Which uh, it's a bit, you know, this was the first time where I got disappointed in this game. Not so much because of this team itself, but the fact that this team and this, and this ghost team are exactly the same team, just with a slight difference in textures. Uh, I'm not any. I'm not gonna read this. It's basically just I have to go through a pach pachinko machine to get to the bottom of this. And there's two battles along the route. It's hardly rocket science. So let's just jump right in. Also just because I've lost my patience right now. Can't believe we lost this one. And that really... That really so Wait, is this... Oh right, I need to turn this right. If I had read what he said, I would have known. So this is just a waste of time. Would you... Thank you. I don't mind the challenge, but I do mind it using the um, Joy-Cons, because the Joy-Cons are not exactly ideal for this. Ah, okay, so let's let's uh, let's have Yosuke prove he's worth in here. And be a bit careful on how much XP we get on him. Stoffel, wait. You're not a fighting type, are you? Oh, super effective. Never mind, I was wrong. Why have I been fearing Stoffel? Uh, I do get. I guess it doesn't give as much XP as the Machoke did. Yeah. Okay. That's. We should be fine. We should be fine. Beware. We should beware. <laughs> Uh, well, I mean, it's the evolution of Stoffel, so it should still be weak to Psybeam, right? Although it's, it probably has more defense now, or special defense, so like two hit? Yeah, two hits. Strength. I'm not afraid of strength. I'm slightly intimidated by strength. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad. Yosuke is fast. I like that. Well, he feels fast, but it might also just be because I'm up against uh, slow things. This kid is level 35 now. We're getting close to where I'm afraid of overleveling, which I don't want. Uh, first up, a bit of healing, because that strength actually hit harder than I thought it would. I do like the image of, of Meowth Stick with glasses on, by the way. It's, it's, it's cute. It's too bad that after all these generations they still haven't done it so that you can actually see the items you equip on the Pokémon. Oh no, we're gonna take the long route, I guess. Come on, hit it. Hit it. And then hit them here. And then hit over here. Oh yeah, the Joy-Con. The Joy-Con's uh, sticks are not that great. Um, ah, gonna miss it. Nope, didn't miss my, uh, my exit. <laughs> okay, let's take out another one. Hello there, mate. We're in good time. Hey, Claire. Farfetch'd. Wait, that's fighting time? It's not just pure normal. No, I guess not. Oh, oh right, it's a... Uh, it's a uh, Galarian. I forgot about that part. Oh, it's nice to see me out um, Yosuke actually being able to just one-hit KO things. Ah, uh, look how we lost that Hina. That was really well. I mean, to be fair, we had kind of moved away from using our Hina anyway, but it still sucks. I was kind of hoping to just have a Hina laying around and maybe use him for like whoa. 
um, something late game, maybe a surprise that, ah, uh, the other way, that Vox wouldn't expect, especially because I had the, had the freaking type advantage, and I don't anymore, because everything I have is basically grass related, and Vox has the fire starter, so I can just go away for myself, I guess. Ah. There's one more terrain, alright? Yeah, there's one more terrain. Here we go. Uh, so yeah, I'm not... Mm, I kinda need to get a replacement water Pokemon now. That part bothers me. Because it... Well, I'm, I guess fishing would solve that issue. I could fish for a Magikarp. Although Magikarp evolves into Gyarados, which is... Isn't Gyarados something stupid like Flying Dragon? Oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> um, I'll have a look at that off screen to see what could be viable. I just know that I'm kind of in... I guess I'm now looking for a water type. Hmm. Suddenly that Aracuda that we lost seemed like he could have been good on our team, huh? <laughs> God damn it, Azahina. Weirdly enough, I don't feel... I don't feel like it was as great as... You're faster than me. Hmm. Um, I don't feel as devastated as I was with Edsworth. I don't know... I don't know why it's, I got so attached to Edsworth. He was just a fun joke. And a cool Pokemon combined in one. But yeah. Ah, Asahina. Shame. Bloody shame. Not much we can do about it. Okay, Yosuke is now at max level. If Yosuke levels up during the final battle, <laughs> that's gonna suck. Probably a case to be spoken of moving Yosuke and Quasi about. I just need to check, double check something. Oh, Rocky Helmet. Uh, this user attacks with an odd. Yeah, it is an actual attack. It's not just a freaking uh, status move or something, but we do have a hypnosis on it. Hypnosis is. Isn't hypnosis the one that is like 75% or something dumb like that? 60%. Decent stats. Maybe as you bring that into battle against uh, Vox, actually, and try and have a taste of a bit of own medicine. Things to consider. <laughs> um. Other things to consider are... Oh, we're looking fine on that front, especially because I don't want to use uh, Yosuke too much. Um, B has four Pokemon. Okay, one thing is for certain. The number one priority of this battle is for everyone to survive. Doesn't matter, okay, just, just so that we don't crash and lose progress again. But it doesn't matter if 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 uh, if anyone overlevels that badly, because worst case I, I have other things to use as backup. I just don't want to lose anyone. No, 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 no. We're gonna have to look at this. Um, how much XP does everyone lack to level up? Yosuke is close. Oh, Sog, you're way too close. Shoot. So I can basically do one battle. I'm coming to a realization about Bronzor. It's part steel. Steel is weak to freaking fighting. <sighs> I brought dead weight to the freaking battle. Um, going Morgana first, I guess, because I need to I need to conserve my <laughs> XP income. Oh, that's a really late realization. I should have thought of that before I went into the game. Yeah. Welcome, Jim Challenger. I'm B. Do you have an uns unshakable spirit that won't be moved, no matter how you are attacked? <laughs> I think I'll just test that, shall I? You shall be so welcome, B. You shall be so welcome. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, this is... We gained way more XP this gym than I expected. Um, 
So we're running a problematic situation where I'm balancing between trying not to overlevel, not to lose anyone, but also win. <sighs> I can for the life of me not remember what you resist as fighting. What do fighting types resist? Okay, that's good damage. Oh, that's a critical hit. Cool. Wait, we're... Oh, it doesn't affect me! I forgot that I am. I'm a freaking ghost. <laughs> that's why I brought you. Right. I just need for none of these to have a dark attack. Dark, dark move. And I'll be fine. I don't like the... Uh, mm. oh, Pangaroo... Uh, hey, that's, a, that's a panda. That's part... Uh, that's part... Dark type. It's part dark type. So Sonic is actually ideal for that. Oh, please don't level up, at least. I think he's gonna level up if I do this. I really don't want him to, though. Please don't level up, please don't level up, please don't level up. Oh, that was good damage. Ouch. Excuse me? Okay, slightly intimidated by this turn of events. Um, okay, I'm still fast. Good. I should be fine then. This splits the XP. Critical hit again? Oh no. I'm, I'm getting... Oh no, I'm getting flashbacks. This is not good. There's no way we can avoid Sonic leveling up now. Ah, oh, shoot. We can't use Sonic against Vox. Hmm, our defenses don't bother me right now. Things are not going quite the way I hope they would right now. Ah, oh, the XP share is gonna F me over right now. Shoot. Why does this keep happening to me? It's like... Uh, okay, so... I need to... From now on, I need to keep in mind that I should be about two levels below the gym's maximum level, because apparently being just one level does not strike it anymore, because things get too much, they give too much XP. That is bothersome. That is quite bothersome. I'm scared right now. Please take him out, please take him out. I'm so gambling right now. Well, I should not. Not with Morgana. Okay, good. Oh, that was scary. <laughs> that was really, really scary. And there goes Sork. Ah, shoot. Trick or treat? Oh, huh. Uh, trick or treat with Warrissey. We're not gonna do that. We have a Pokemon that has it all. Oh, Shadow Ball at the other hand. Ooh, that is good. Sneak, set up all Warriors Bomb. I'm gonna replace Warriors Seed. I know it's good against what Vox is probably gonna throw at me, but I do like having bow. Yeah, I need Shadow Ball. And having a priority move is like really good as well. Macham. Scared right now. I'm so scared right now. <laughs> Not even joking. It's actually kind of frightening. This is her last Pokemon. Yeah. It's time to dig in our heels. I'm not giving up, so now this is you. Oh, here comes her ace. It's a fully evolved stage three. Okay, so we are gonna have to do this and just. Stall, but I'm gonna do this instead. 
He's probably faster than me. We're psychic. As long as he doesn't have anything I'm weak to, he should be fine. Ah, uh, I feel like I feel like Vox had the easier gym here. Like Ghost Type is so easy to take care of. Ah, fine then. Let's destroy everything. Your skill is worth your respect. anti maxing. Right, it's not a Dynamax, it's like a Gantamax! <laughs> I don't like this. I don't like this. I really don't like this. I don't feel like I was prepared enough for this. Oh, I don't want a team wipe. Okay, I'm faster. I'm actually faster. Okay, I'm faster and I just need to hit it one more time. That was a critical hit. Darkness? No! 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 Okay. Okay. Let's think, let's think, let's think, let's think. Um... Oh... Gamble! Why am I such a gambler? Please kill it, please kill it, please kill it, please kill it, please kill it. Goodness! We survived! <laughs> I did not like this team. <laughs> Whoa. Oh no. Oh no. I can't use Yosuke either. Oh, I'm so. S oh, I'm at such a freaking disadvantage against Vox. I'm gonna be rolling with two low levels and two high levels. Oh no. I felt the fighting spirit of your Pokemon as you led them in, t in battle. Oh no! Oh! It evolved! Yay! Quasimodo, you've become a bell! Meanwhile, I'll sit here in despair. We lost Asahina and I'm freaking terrified of the... Oh no, 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 no. Everything's just going not good right now. Ah... Uh, oh no. Yeah, Bronx or whatever. Ah... Uh, you want to learn block? Sure, I'll give you block. Whatever. Uh, what is that? Use a block to target with ways to No, you're not getting that. Whatever. Oh, no. Thank you for the battle. Phew. Facing, facing you gave me all the explanation I needed. Battling against you and your team, I hadn't expected it, but it made my heart dance. It's good to be unshakable in the face of battle, but it's good to be moved by battle as well. Thank you again. Take the fighting badge. You are a huge lady compared to us. Okay, we're halfway there, living on a prayer. I hope that you'll meet many more trainers and have many more matches in the future. And I hope that every one of those encounters will nourish your spirit. Blah 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 blah. Here's a TM. You get to take revenge, whatever. And the commemorative uh, outfit for the fighting TM, which I really don't care about. We have a. Before we end, I need to head out here and activate a cutscene. Oh no. Ah. Uh. Looks like my Yamber really likes you, huh? Anyway, we've run into each other at a good time. You know the Maru here on Stoneside? It's set to tell the story of the Hero of Gala as well. Though, what's there today is actually a replica of the ancient art that used to be there. You tend to have surprisingly sharp insights, so I was wondering what you might think when you see the ruins. What? What in the world was that? Sounds like it came from the direction of the ruins, too. Let's have a look. Come along, Gamber. And once he does that, we're gonna wait for the fight against Vox. Right now... Oh no. I'm not gonna have to have a look at this. This is really bad. 
So I'm not allowed to use your skin. You're quarantined. And I'm not allowed to use you because you're also quarantined. Oh, shoot. I didn't expect to gain that much XP. I was basing it on experience from the previous DMs, but I forgot that everything is higher level and have more evolved now. What do we have that we can use then? Uh, everything's so low level, oh no. I'm gonna bring you, because Vox won't expect it. Dick, Kron, Sandstorm, I guess I'll bring you too. Oh, I can't even go and freaking... We'll bring you instead. Um, I can't even go and level these guys up. Ah, because of our rulings. So I guess this is the team I'll go up against Vox with. Isn't that just great? I guess I should have my low levels out first. Hmm. Shoot. Damn it. Blast it. Freaking... Ah. Everything. Oh no. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, next episode is definitely gonna be a loss against Vox because of this. I don't have a full team of actual competitive Pokemon right now. But yeah, I hope you um, enjoyed my frustration and the loss of another combatant. Once the next time, please do take care. Next episode will start out with me against Vox again. There will be a, it'll have a parent stream first. So catch, catch the stream on Vox's um, channel. Like in the past at this point, I guess. When, but you know, keep keep updated on Vox's channel if you want to see her side of things and keep updated. My episode is always going to be a delayed because I'm recording later and editing later. So, But yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope you will take care and I will see you next time where I will try and not fail as miserably. Bye for now.